folks, welcome to another episode of The Artist's Nook. We're up to episode two now, so we're really cranking them along. Um, this week we're going to be talking about abstract expressionism. And um, we're going to be discussing some of the artists that use this particular style, like uh, Kandinsky, uh, de Kooning, um, Jackson Pollock, Jasper Jean, uh, Picasso, of course, he's kind of the master of all forms of abstract art. Um, and we're going to get into that in other episodes later on, maybe we'll talk about surrealism, cubism, and uh, modern art in, in general. Uh, but in this episode, we're going to focus on abstract expressionism and um, what that means exactly. So abstract art is um, anything that's really a derivative of something. So it's really trying to take a piece of the whole and kind of... Hey folks, welcome to another episode. Because when you're, when you're doing an abstract expressionist style, you really have to lay the paint on there, and there's really no, there's, there's, there, there shouldn't be any care about, um, you know, making any mistakes at all. That's the most fun thing about creating in this particular style. That's why we're starting with this early on in, in um, this series. Soon we'll get into some more realistic um, painting styles. Artists on Instagram now um, who use combinations of expressionism, surrealism, realism, impressionism, all in the same um, mix to, to, to create a great fusion. And we'll get into those artists soon enough. But for right now, let's get started on this particular type of art. Um, because when you get some fun colors going, and I'm just going to start applying. Just go with it, wherever it goes. So I can see yellow over here. Let's get some down here. Match it up, sort of mirroring it from one corner to another. This painting, I do kind of have an idea how I want to start it, or kind of what I want to accomplish at the end of it. Um, but the fun thing about abstract expressionism, you can never really know. How are you going to get there? I like a little more red in there. In the corner. I don't know if this painting has some red in it. I think that, you know, those, those sort of crazy colors that kind of like just splash everywhere. See that? Get some fun color. Great color and textures all over the place. Don't worry about mixing anything up. In this style, there's no messing up. You can always just change things however you want to. And add lines to it like that. And then add some of this. Now we're starting to shape it out like you would see in an abstract expressionist space. Actually, draw. 
So we're moving along here. We've got some pretty good colors on the canvas. Um, I mean, at this point, you have an abstract expressionist painting. Um, but I'm gonna keep I'm gonna keep going along, and this is a great opportunity I, I just saw in here to kind of show you what a lot of these great abstract artists use to make their paintings so bright and so vibrant that just makes your eyes you know want to look at it. And I've got these blue stripes going through here, okay, and there's kind of a, a, a reddish background with some yellow in there and whatever. And what great artists will do is they'll use opposites. Um, the, the great abstract artists, and expressionist artists, and surreal artists, uh, Picasso specifically. Next time you look at a, uh, um, one of those modern art paintings, take a look at, at how they use the opposites bouncing off each other. So we're moving along here. We got some pretty good color. Just adding textures in between these lines now, and creating something else for you to kind of view in here. Your mind can kind of think, well, what is this now? That's the key. I, I, I really like giving the, uh, the viewer something just to speculate a little bit when it comes to this. Otherwise, you get into sort of contemporary art where you, you have to describe it, what everything is that you're seeing. Uh, you know, that's not fun. It's taking the blue off of that. I just took the blue off of it, and I'm just going to dance around on it now. Just like that. that yellow. Oh. All right. I think there's maybe a little bit in here you can use. Uh, sculpt this in maybe a little bit with some of this. Right, mix up maybe a little bit just to, just to touch. I don't know, folks. I might work on it a little bit more, but that looks kind of cool to me. I'm going to take a step back, and this might be it. We'll see. If there's one more video after this, <laughs> then you know I kept going. Um, but if not, thanks for tuning in, and um, next week we'll have another cool episode for you. I'm not sure what it is. Maybe we'll get into surrealism or uh, what modern art is, or maybe I'll start dabbling in the real stuff. <laughs>